Howdy partners, long time no see. From crazy looking deformed fish to Bigfoot, there are many secrets hidden within the files of Red Dead Redemption 2 that we're going to dive deep into today and explore. And these are 10 things actually removed from Red Dead Redemption 2 that we wouldn't know about if the game didn't just release on PC. So unless you've seen some of this in another YouTube video, this is probably going to be the first time that you've ever heard about any of these Red Dead Redemption 2 beta features that were cut from the game. Now for those of you who don't know, there were over 5 hours of content cut from Red Dead Redemption 2 that comes straight from Rockstar Games. And today we're going to be going over every single one of those, except this time we actually have physical proof of these removed features. So hopefully I can earn your thumbs up on this video. If so, let's go for 3,000 likes for 10 things removed from Red Dead Redemption 2. Number 10, Bigfoot. So it may not come as a surprise to you, but within Red Dead Redemption 2, there is a secret side quest where we follow a flock of birds in the sky and it leads us to this cave that we really can't access without kind of glitching onto it. Anyways, upon reaching this cave on two different instances, there are two different lines of dialogue and sequences that we can actually get. And what we find out is that there is a giant man in this cave who is hidden himself away and become almost a hermit because he is so big that people just make fun of him and nobody wants to be his friend. And it's a very, very sad story and that's pretty much it. Well, with some glitches, we can actually get up onto this cave and, well, we can actually get inside. And this was so cool to check out when Red Dead Redemption 2 first released, but players were sadly disappointed because there was nothing inside of this cave. Well, we have discovered in the game files a NPC model that might possibly be this giant mysterious man who was talking to us from this cave. And here he is. It is a Neanderthal type character and he can actually be found within the ped files, but he's actually not under like Bigfoot or Neanderthal. He's under outfit number 45. That's how we can find this very, very interesting character within the game and it makes you wonder could this be the lonely giant or could this neanderthal or bigfoot type character still be hidden somewhere deep within the snowy region of red dead redemption 2 is he frozen in a block of ice in the grizzlies somewhere that is yet to be discovered and that's yet to be known but logically i would like to say that this is supposed to be the lonely giant except maybe he was part of the five hours of cut content that rockstar decided to remove from red dead redemption 2 and the reason that i theorize that is because we can actually get into the cave where he's talking to us from so maybe originally he was supposed to crawl out of the cave and come and meet us and possibly a be a companion Number nine, a secret beginning to Red Dead Redemption 2. So spoiler alert in case you somehow haven't played through the storyline of Red Dead Redemption 2. Well, we find out that Arthur has a very sad past. Arthur had a son and his son's mother and well, they are both dead. They were both killed and Arthur discovered them and he buried them. It's a very, very sad part of Arthur's life. Well, what you may not have known, and this was confirmed by Roger Clark, Arthur's voice actor, but in the beginning of Red Dead Redemption 2, originally Arthur's son was going to be featured, except he was going to freeze to death, and he was going to die in the beginning of RDR 2. Now, I'm glad that Rockstar actually decided to cut this from the game because what a brutal way to start out Red Dead Redemption 2 with something as sad and horrible as that. I'm glad that Rockstar just went along the route of just mentioning his son and his son's mother. Number eight, Princess Isabeau or IKZ. So this is one of the most mysterious characters in Red Dead Redemption 2. Simply due to the fact that she is mentioned there is a poster proving what that she exists and what she looks like, except she is never found in Red Dead Redemption 2. This character right here is quite possibly one of the pieces of cut content from Red Dead Redemption 2. Obviously she is, but part of that five hours of cut content. As in the game files, we can actually find her character 
model. That's right. This is her 100% with the birthmark on her face and her hand. Now, one thing that's very interesting to note is that Princess Isabeau's birthmarks on her character model are actually on the wrong side of her face and hand, opposed to what is in the description and what is on her missing persons poster. And Princess Isabeau has a very mysterious past. She would be 20 years old as she went missing when she was five years old and it has been 15 years since she has been missing and we can find out all of this intel in the town of van horn or just the small settlement number seven sharks so this was actually the first video that i uploaded in 2019 but there is a glitch a very long tedious glitch that you could go through that takes about an hour that'll take you to guarma that'll actually lead you to a shark at the very end but it's very very brief well we can actually spawn in sharks through pc mods and these are straight from the rdr2 game files and there are actually two variants of the shark there is the tiger shark and there is the hammerhead shark now obviously this isn't removed content from the game if we could actually do a long glitch to get here and find these sharks but the reason i'm considering this removed content from red dead redemption 2 is simply these two sharks appear in the game but they are removed from the fact that you can't add them to your compendium you can't kill the sharks and skin them. They are simply just there, but you can't see them on just any ordinary day. You've got to go through a very tedious glitch, like I said, a very long one, and even then, you might not have a chance at seeing a shark for more than 0.1 seconds, or you might not even get to see one at all. So it's very interesting that we have these sharks, except you don't really ever get to interact with them. And we're going to circle back to why that might possibly be in just a moment. Number six, the Bank of Armadillo. So this is actually a very interesting interior and location that has just seemingly been removed from Red Dead Redemption 2. And the only way to actually access this is through a glitch where you can use your lantern to glitch into secret areas and whatnot. And one of those would be the Bank of Armadillo, which has a fully decked out detailed interior that is never used in red dead redemption 2 it's not used in red dead online the single player or anything so it makes you wonder why did rockstar include this fully detailed interior in red dead redemption 2 that no one can actually access throughout the use of glitches just one of those things that makes you kind of scratch your head perhaps there was going to be a heist in the bank of armadillo perhaps it was going to be a place that we could just go into and rob who knows Number five, buying tickets to Guarma. So this is very interesting, and a string of code within the game files has actually alluded to the fact that at one point, we were going to be able to return to Guarma, and we would pay around $100, and most likely it would probably be at the San Denis docks, but we would actually be able to trip on over to Guarma, which would have been very, very nice because there are a couple animals that you can add to your compendium that you can only do in Guarma. And if you don't do that in the select chapter in the game, well, you're kind of out of luck and you're never going to get that 100% game completion because you can't really go back to Guarma at all. So this is one of those features. Why was it removed? Guarma is a really cool, mysterious place. Now, I want to circle back to the sharks that I was just talking to y'all about. Well, my kind of theory here is that since we aren't able to return to Guarma, that's why sharks aren't prevalent. Because the sharks are only seen in Guarma. So that's probably why they were removed. And obviously, that's why we can't see them. Because Guarma was removed as well. Number four, Gaptooth Mine. So this is a very interesting location in New Austin. And it's actually a location, obviously, from Red Dead Redemption 1. The difference between RDR1 and RDR2 is that in RDR2, you cannot access this mine. You actually have to glitch inside of here. And this footage is not my own. I'm not sure how this user got into the Gaptooth mine, but you can see that it's actually around 80% complete. There is so much going on here in this very mysterious location that we can't actually access. Now, the ladders aren't complete, things like that, but most of it is, and it makes you wonder, why did Rockstar put forth a lot of effort to recreate this place, but not finish it? Why was this cut? Why can we not explore this area? Number three, the Blackwater train station. So Blackwater in RDR2 does not have a train station. 
Codes and sources in the game files actually point to the fact that there was originally intended to be a train station in Blackwater, as well as John mentions in a very specific mention that he is going to be by the Blackwater train station. And as we know, that does not exist in RDR 2, which takes place, obviously, a few years before RDR 1. But in RDR 1, we do have a Blackwater train station. So it's very interesting right there as to why Rockstar decided to remove the Blackwater train station from the game. Obviously, they can just play it off as, hey, the train station just wasn't around at this point. But train stations in this time frame had been around for 40 to 50 years. So why all of a sudden would this very central town not have a train station just makes you wonder it's also kind of a nuisance because when you want to go to new austin you've got to go on horseback for a very very long time number two the legendary channel catfish so we can actually find this in the game but there is a variant of the legendary channel catfish which can be found in the game files as the legendary catfish XL and well when we spawn that in what we get is a very odd looking deformed crazy fish that well when you spawn it in if it's not in water it's going to be going all all the wazoo all crazy uh, just bumping around flip flopping molly walking tick talking my dachshund I, I forget how it goes <laughs> anyways all right cringe but the legendary catfish this is just a very very interesting version of this that we can find in the game files and obviously this hasn't been found in red Dead redemption 2 at all in a legit manner so it makes you wonder is this actually in the game somewhere hidden or is this just kind of a deformed fish that just got left in the game files that wasn't removed regardless this one's creepy makes me scared of video game water more than i already am especially in rdr2 since the water is a very dark murky and we can't see to the bottom and number one beta arthur that's right we get to take a look at what beta arthur looks like from a photo found within the game files and this is kind of like discomforting beta arthur looked very very scary he looked a lot older he looked like he's in his like mid 40s here and we know that arthur is obviously i believe he's he's in his like mid 30s early to mid 30s in rdr2 but nonetheless he looks very scary here it looks like he's got some scars on his face and obviously he just looks honestly a whole lot different and i'm very happy with the arthur that we did get maybe it's the black and white that makes him look worse than he already does I'm not 100% sure, but this is just a very, very creepy photo of like a beat up, older looking Arthur and what he was originally intended to actually look like. So anyways, those are 10 things removed from Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully y'all did enjoy the video. I'm sure we're going to come across many, many more RDR2 secrets and beta Red Dead Redemption 2 content. And if so, we'll definitely make a part two. But if y'all enjoyed the video, well, hopefully I earned your thumbs up. Please give it a thumbs up. A little love goes a long way. Consider subscribing. We're on the road to 650,000 subscribers. And with that said, I'm Zach Cox. Thank y'all for tuning in. I love you all, and I hope to see you in the next video.